Yo, what's up guys? Jesse LaFlair here from LaFlair Parkour and Team Tempest coming to you from the world famous Tempest Freerunning Academy. Now, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on the horizontal wall run as seen in Assassin's Creed. Now, you don't need to be an assassin or wear an Assassin's Creed costume to be able to do this move or even teach this move. No costumes. Anyway, so check it out. Horizontal wall run. Now, keep in mind that you can't go for a four step horizontal wall run right away. You need to understand the basics and I would super importantly suggest checking out my tutorial for the Tic Tac. It is the same understanding of how physics works while bringing energy into the wall. Now we'll cover most of that, but if you want a little bit more on how to eject yourself and get a good jump off of the wall, I would check out the Tic Tac tutorial in my tutorial playlist. Now for this one, keep in mind that physics does play a huge role. Understanding how the energy that we're bringing into the wall is gonna allow us to stick and stay on the wall, okay? So with that being said, if I have absolutely no energy coming up to this wall, and I try to stand on it, I'm gonna fall. Like there's, there's, it's almost impossible, okay? So understanding that physics is super important is gonna help us get this move quicker and easier. So an object in motion stays in motion, which means gravity and the forces of movement. I don't, I never took physics. I wish I did. If you guys have a chance to take physics, take it. It's only gonna make your parkour and free running skills that much better because once you understand the movement, it is way easier to do the movement. So when we do this, our energy in is going to keep us on the wall. Same thing if we go straight in with all, with a good amount of energy, I can stay on the wall. But if I come up to the wall and try to put my foot on, nothing happens. I do not have grip. And it's not that my shoes aren't rubbery or this wall, this carpet wall <laughs> isn't slippery, which it kind of is. It's that I don't have energy sticking me to the wall. So first rule, come in with energy. Not too much to the point where you're fighting to keep your face off of the wall, but enough energy to get your feet in. Now, second rule, my face should be nowhere near this wall because the angle of my body is going to need to be out so that all of the energy is going into my feet, not here, and then going through my upper body and into the wall. If our body, our feet are too high, obviously we have the, the opportunity to fall. We don't really want to do that. So important to know our angle when we do this. We're also going to create a rainbow arch. So we're going to start low and work our way up and then back down, okay? So we can't just come here, run into the wall and jump down it because that does nothing for us. We want to ride the energy up. So if you guys noticed in my example of my wall run, I didn't just start my foot here because my chest then would go in. I actually tried to get my body a little bit lower so that when I got that first step, I'm already hips and chest are low. So when I do this, start with your chest low, come into it here, one, two, three, come on down. Now three is super standard. If you guys can get three steps on the wall, that's awesome. In a corner, it's very easy to get four steps and I will show you that in a little bit. But on a flat wall like this, that's completely vertical with no slant, four steps is kind of difficult. And it's only gonna be if you understand the physics of the movement, create your energy in, ride up the wall and then back down, can you get that last step in with a little bit of a cheat, obviously because you're not going to have the most grip, but you can get that fourth step down to push yourself off the wall and make it a four step horizontal wall. Cool. Now let's talk about the corner. Now in a corner like this or any corner of a building, it is kind of easier to use your energy to get a four step wall run or more because we have the ability to create more forward momentum. So the idea is when we come in on an angle, 
We're not coming in directly next to it like we would not never, even on a horizontal one, straight vertical, we're never gonna come directly next to it because there's no grip. Our energy then is going straight past it in the same way that we would never come straight into the wall to try to go around it because now all of our energy is going straight up and not down around, it's going straight into the wall. It's not helping us. So the same way that we do the horizontal wall run on a vertical wall with no corner, we are going to run at a diagonal angle, starting low, working our way up, and then back down. Now the cool part about a corner wall is that our momentum doesn't just get wasted and come straight back down. Because we're coming in on this nice angle, we get to use this energy. Now all of the energy that's coming into this wall is getting exhausted, but because we've redirected that energy into forward momentum, now all of a sudden we're back into having enough energy into this wall to get more grip in our feet to come back down. Let's check one out. Well, that's it guys. That is your horizontal wall run tutorial. You guys have been asking for it for a while. Please hit me up in the comment section below with the next tutorial that you'd like to see or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned tomorrow. 12 days of tutorials. Happy holidays, people. Much love. Peace.